Okay, today I wanted to give you a little help on uh, navigating and organizing your documents in your Google Docs. So when you are in your Documents tab, this is the screen that you see, basically. It has a list of all your documents. It has your Create button, allows you to create your different types of documents. It has your Upload button, which allows you to upload files to your Google Documents. Um, for example, I've uploaded a PDF file there versus uh, creating a Google document from the create list. You also have the ability to kind of filter or change what it is you see. The default view is your home view and it shows you everything that you've selected to be in your home. It also has a starred view which will show you all the documents that you've placed a star next to. Um, documents that are owned by you versus ones that someone else have shared. And your all items list. That will show you every single thing in your documents list no matter where you have it uh, tagged or located. You can also take a look at things you've thrown in the trash uh, so that you could retrieve those back out of there if you wanted to. Underneath that you have two buttons that show your my collections and these are all collections and collections is basically the same as a folder you can see the icon even looks like a folder and these are all ones that I've created to help me organize my documents and I collapse that and I can expand by clicking on the little arrow and these are collections that are shared with me something that I've someone else has created and they've allowed me to access all the files that are in those collections okay so basically if you haven't yet you might want to create a collection or a label over here that can be done in two ways you can either click up here on create and come down here to collection and it will pop open a list kind of like creating a document and you would just uh, name that folder um, I'm just gonna call this one test folder so I know to delete it and now I have one you can see that shows up alphabetically down here called test folder and it defaults opens it and says there's nothing in your test folder yet so if I want to put something in my test folder I can go back to my home list that shows all of my documents and you notice it's showing that that test folder has now been created and, and just like I said it's kind of like a document almost but it's really a folder say I wanted to stick this into that folder there's two ways I could do it I can put a check like I've done there and then just say I want to organize that one and come down here and it shows me all of my collections and I can come down to my test folder and put a check in there notice that you could put a document in more than one folder at the same time if you wanted to I could also stick it in a personal file for example like that or anything else so you're not really putting the document in a folder here what you're doing is labeling it but it acts the same as if you're putting it in there so once you apply those changes now if I come down to my test folder and open it up of course uh, there we go you'll see that the document is in there if I go back to my home view you'll see there's that test folder there's that file that I put in there and right next to it at the end it says what collection it's in in fact you notice that all of my documents can say where they are and you notice here's one that's in a couple different folders that just list those out right now this can get kind of cluttered in your home view if every single document and collection that you've ever created shows up there um, so here's the trick for the day basically is once you organize things and put them in a test folder or, or in a folder or a collection you don't want to show them in your home anymore you want them just to show up when you come down here and you click on that folder right so the way to do that is select those folders or those documents that you don't want to show so I'm going to say I don't want the test folder and I don't want this one to show up in this list anymore now you come over to more and you select the don't show this in home and what that will do is remove it from this home view like I said if I still go to all items it's still going to be there that's going to show me everything but my home is kind of my default view and this way I can clean up that view so it doesn't have so much stuff in it and now if I want to see that document I can get to it by just coming down and clicking on the test folder and there it is right the other way to find stuff if you forget what folder you put it in is just use the search feature up here and like I knew it had the word dump in it so I just type in dump and it'll pull up that document for me so there's your tutorial for today, kind of give you a brief overview of how to keep things organized in your documents and uh, clean up your home view so that it's not so cluttered.